What's going on guys, Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets here and this video I'm going to put a new bumper on my Jeep. This is the Barnes 4 wheel drive Pritchett Canyon series. Um, it's new to the market and uh, the reason I put it on my Jeep is because this thing is sick. Uh, there's a lot of benefits from this one opposed to my old bumper and a lot of other ones on the market. So let's take an up close look, see what it looks like and then throw it on the Jeep. All right, so as you can tell, I got the uh, Barnes four-wheel drive bumper sitting underneath. Right off the bat, you can tell it's a lot less bulky, uh, it's more compact, and it's gonna be a lot lighter than my current bumper. Another reason, I'm not running a spare tire, and I really don't like the spare tire cutout look on my Jeep, so this bumper is completely flat. So I think it's really gonna change the look of the Jeep up, um, as well as I really like the tubular design. Um, not many companies have you know, a design like this, and I'm actually a big fan of these tube bumpers. Uh, so, what I will say though, is it does come bare. Uh, I already uh, primed it and painted it, and uh, you know, I'll show you guys what it looked like when it came straight out of the box. And I actually used this uh, Rust-Oleum hammered paint. Heard good things about it, and it does kind of give it a powder coat texture. Uh, you know, one thing you can do with this bumper is you could take it to a powder coat shop, uh, you know, but that's going to be more expensive. So I'm a fan of just rattle can rattle canning stuff, just because I can take it off real quick, touch it up as needed, and it's uh, you know definitely cuts down on the cost. But let's get this little bumper off and throw this one on. All right, so now that we have our old bumper off, whether it was the OEM bumper or another aftermarket bumper, we're gonna clean the cross member and the frame, and if needed, you know, repaint, remove all the rust or anything that's in there. But Barnes sent uh, full instructions on how to install this bumper, but I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step install in this video so you guys don't have to, uh, you know, leave anything to the imagination. But the instructions call for a half-inch drill bit and a 3 8 drill bit. Let's go ahead and check out what we're gonna have to drill and uh, go ahead and throw this bumper on. All right, guys, so our first step, we're going to grab our flag nut that came with the bumper. We're going to stick it inside the frame rail and just lay it there. We want the flag to be sticking out, and we're going to bolt it right where the old uh, factory tow hook went. So now that we have that, we're going to grab the bumper and slide it on. <laughs> All right, so now that we have our flag nut inside, we're going to line up the bumper with the hole where the uh, factory tow, tow hook was. We're going to grab a bolt stick it through and maneuver our flag nut and slowly start this top bolt. All right, once we have the top one started, we're gonna do the same with the lower one. It's a two hand job. So definitely a two hand job. All right, so we got those started. We're gonna go ahead and write them in a little bit and then move over to the other side. All right, so the passenger side, as you can tell here, there's no spots for the, uh, the bolts to go through. So this is where we're at the drill. Uh, with our half inch bolt. So what we're gonna do is uh, hold the bumper up, in my case, until it's flush with this bottom pinch seam. So we're gonna hold it up. You can either use a jack or jack stands, um, something to hold it up or just have another hand, uh, have a person help you. We're gonna hold it up till it looks level and mark right in the middle where we're gonna start drilling our hole. What I did is use my floor jack with a piece of wood All right, so now that we have the passenger side marked where we're gonna drill the holes, we're gonna go ahead and take the driver's side bolts off, remove the bumper, and drill the passenger side holes. Let's go ahead and drill some pilot holes on the spots that we marked. Don't do that. Oh, oh, I hope that was, oh, my wrist. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Oh, man. Hurricane Florence is coming in. All right, so now that we have our two half-inch holes drilled, we're going to grab the flag nut, sneak it inside the frame, and we go ahead and throw the bumper on and put those four bolts on. Leave them a little bit loose because we're still going to adjust it, and then drill two more holes right there. All right, so now that we've got the bumper on, tightened down loosely, we're gonna grab a 3 8 drill bit and drill 
the two bottom holes underneath the bumper. You can uh, lay down and see them. It's kind of hard to film, but we're gonna drill those out to 3 8 and then install the bolts in there. All right, so now that we have the holes drilled on the bottom of the bumper, we're gonna grab these, uh, the bolts that Barnes provided and put them up through. We're gonna use a 916 wrench and an Allen wrench to secure them through that rear cross member. All right guys, so as you can tell, the bumper's installed and on. I think it looks amazing. Uh, the install is extremely simple. It does require you to drill a few spots, but the instructions they provided are extremely easy to follow. Uh, this bumper is only $340, so right off the bat, it's a lot lower than other US made bumpers. I forgot to mention that earlier. This bumper is made in the USA, so uh, you know, the quality is great, the welds are beautiful, and uh, everything fit perfectly. So I really do like how it's flat all the way across, it doesn't have the spare tire cut out. But one thing to mention on that is if you do have the factory tire carrier or a factory spare tire style carrier, this bumper is probably not gonna work for you. Um, I don't have anything to judge it on, but just the fact that it doesn't have the cutout means you're not gonna be able to run a tire. You could probably add a spacer to your sp tire carrier, but you know, you'd have to ask Barnes directly about that. Um, overall, I'm definitely liking this design better than my other bumper. And uh, as you'll see in the next video, it's gonna tie in to the rock rails and their front bumper. Uh, I'm doing all three new armor just cause I want uh, the same style rock rails, bumpers, you know, I just want the Jeep to look good and I'm really liking this design. Um, it is lighter, it's less bulky, and it actually does have more clearance than my other bumper. Um, it's about two inches difference uh, just because it tucks up a lot higher. It still works with the factory receiver hitch, so that's an extra plus. But it's on, it's looking great. I'll walk around and show you guys what it looks like, all the different angles. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the install or anything else about my Jeep, feel free to go down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Do all types of awesome Jeep videos and installs and keep on Jeeping on.